This video is uh, the summer of 2018. It shows the Northern Hemisphere extraordinary heat extremes of this summer. This video includes uh, reporting content, excellent content from CNN with a CNN video of uh, events across the Northern Hemisphere and then it also shows amazing dramatic satellite images of the effects of the uh, severe scorching heat on uh, regions of the Northern Hemisphere. The CNN report is August the 5th, 2018 and the headline, All Our Climate Plans Are in Pieces as Killer Summer Shreds Records. Part of the text of the report was that deadly fires have scorched swaths of the Northern Hemisphere this summer, from California to Arctic Sweden and down to Greece on the sunny Mediterranean. Drought in Europe has turned verdant land barren, while people in Japan and Korea are dying from record-breaking heat. Climate change is here and is affecting the entire globe, scientists say. It is on the doorsteps of everyday Americans, Europeans, and nations, and the best evidence shows it will get much worse. Why the extraordinary extreme heat waves and fires in the Northern Hemisphere? Well, as CNN says here in a news report of July 24, 2018, it's climate change. Record-breaking summer marches on to the beat of climate change, or more accurately, of course, it's global surface warming. Uh, this image is the deadly fires in Greece, and the death toll from those fires has now risen to 91 people. These two maps show maximum temperatures in degrees centigrade for the United States here and for Europe here. These are made available on a daily basis by Weatherline in the United Kingdom. I'll now be showing some other maps from NASA and Copernicus showing the temperature increases in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm not going to comment on those, I'll do that in another video. These are global warming, global average surface temperature change maps from Copernicus, which is the European equivalent of NASA GISS with respect to satellite imagery and global climate change, global warming. Now back to the CNN coverage and the CNN video. At the end of the first week of August 2018, the Northern California fire has literally exploded into the largest fire in the state's history. Dangerous heat that's hitting both coasts this morning, the hottest temperatures so far this season, aggravating those wildfires out west. A new one in California is called the Holy Fire. It's leading to helicopter rescues. And the Mendocino Complex fire is now the state's largest ever. Overnight, the Mendocino complex fire exploding inside. Now the largest wildfire on record in California's history. Over 283,000 acres burning so far, that's nearly 450 square miles. 
And there are now 18 large wildfires burning across the state with 14,000 firefighters working nonstop. The car fire entering its third week, destroying more than 1,000 homes, burning 160,000 acres. Now we're going to look at some uh, incredible, incredible, but true satellite images of the uh, heat's effect on northern Europe this summer of 2018. Here's Denmark, way into northern Europe, July of 2017, and here is July 2018. 2017, 2018 dramatic change due to this northern hemisphere heat wave. This shows northern Germany, Denmark and Sweden. Northern Germany at the bottom of the screen there. And this shows what the land looked like on the 30th of June 2018. And this shows it on the 19th of July 2018 showing the results of the northern hemisphere heat wave again. Here are similar dramatic images from the United Kingdom, from Britain, published by the UK Met Office, and this shows the scorching heat over Britain turned it brown from its usual normal green. Here is May of 2018. So there's England, there's Wales, and you can see some of Scotland up there. And here's July of 2018. May of this year, July of this year. Mm -hmm.